Jen, run away with me. Only I can save you from zombies, monsters, and murder birds. Oh, I don't know, Leon. As much as I would love to be Jennifer Scott Kennedy, there's no way Skeletor will ever let us be together. Skeletor? Ha! I'm not afraid of that bag of bones. Kiss me, Jen. Oh, Leon. Ah! <gasps> Skeletor! I knew I'd find you two together! <gasps> Leon, no! Now that he's out of the way, you shall marry me. <laughs> I'll never marry you, Skeletor. Butterfree, get him. <laughs> Leon. Jen, I'm slipping away. Just know that I love... Uh... Leon, no! I really need a boyfriend. When the crypt doors creak and the tombstones quake Spooks come out for a and wake Happy haunts materialize And begin to vocalize Grim grinning ghosts come out to socialize <laughs> So about a month or two ago, somebody on Twitter asked people what weird things scared them as a kid. There were the typical movies and kids shows that looking back were actually pretty creepy for something directed towards kids. Honestly, I forgot all about these things until that person asked. But I also noticed that no one mentioned anything close to being as ridiculous as mine. Return the slide. What's your offer? <laughs> oh, useless. And with that being said, we all live in a yellow submarine. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love this movie. It's hysterical, extremely original, and you always catch something new on a repeated watch. It's all in the mind. It has that classic 60s vibe that's hard to replicate. Speaking of replicating, did you know Disney had plans to do a remake of this movie? However, thanks to a certain weird CGI movie bombing horribly, those plans were scrapped. Thank you, Mars Needs Moms. Thank you. I actually kind of like that movie. So, why did this movie freak me out so much as a kid? Honestly, it shouldn't. I was and still am big into horror movies, if you can't already tell. I watched weird and scary movies all the time and was never affected by it. Those movies had an alien who assimilated living tissue, zombie kitties, undead killers, living killers, everything you can think of that would scare a kid didn't scare me. But this movie. Now, looking at it, can you think of anything in this movie that could possibly enact such fear? It's so bright and colorful and just kid-friendly. Was it Jeremy? No. Is it this thing? No. What about this thing? No. What about this? Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Hey, pussy. Stop saying that. You are making me uncomfortable. The thing that scared me about this movie were the blue meanies. I'm not joking. What a stupid thing to be afraid of. I mean, come on, even their name is kind of stupid, the Blue Meanies. I'm not scared of- ah! What? What? The love is losing his touch! Okay. Okay. Maybe I'm not completely over it. But I'm an adult, and I can have- OH MY GOD! <laughs> Get it away! Get it away! It's okay. It's okay. I got my relaxed hat on. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I haven't laughed so much since Pompeii. <laughs> Why am I so still freaked out about these things? Why are these things so scary? It's a kid's movie! Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, you can all just sit the f down because these things with their stupid Mickey Mouse ears and pencil thin mustaches are the things you should be looking for under your bed. Oh, and they become good guys at the end? No. Bullshit. No. I am not okay with that. I don't know. I just... I just wish they died at the end of the movie. I want to know who the hell thought these things up, drew them, handed them to the director who said, oh, oh yes, put that shit all over this movie. Who is responsible for this? 
You know what the real pisser about this whole thing is? Him from the Powerpuff Girls is based off the Blue Meanies, and he is my favorite villain from the show. So, so, Powerpuff Girls is it, that, that, that. No, Japan, that is not him. Stop it. You know, someday I would really like to get into detail about this movie and review it in full, but there's another franchise that I want to get to first. Oh, you know what just occurred to me? I probably shouldn't have mentioned that I'm afraid of these things because knowing some of the people that I know on Twitter, I'm gonna get the shit tweeted at me for at least a month. My little glassy darling.